Hey everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing the Victon Big Issue magazine. Now this is a pretty late unboxing because I actually joined a US based group order for this magazine and I'm not from the US so it took a pretty long time to arrive. I also promised to myself a while ago that I wouldn't be buying any more magazines but I just thought that Victon looked so cute and their styling is very very comfy looking in this magazine so I decided to get it. So yeah, without further ado, let's open it up first. Okay, so here is the magazine. Um, I might just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so here is the magazine. So obviously Victon is on the front cover. Um, it's a pretty small magazine actually when you compare it to some of my Japanese magazines that I have. And the cover is like this. It's the Big Issue Korea. It's not stapled, so it's actually bound. Um, and here's the back. And... It's a little bit thinner than I expected, thinner and smaller than I expected, so yeah. I just think they look so cute, and um, I feel like they're smiling really naturally in this magazine, so that's why I got it. So yeah, let's go through it. Um, and I guess just a disclaimer, um, since I can't really read Korean, this flip through will mainly just be about the Victon photos. So, okay, um, I guess this is the contents page, so that was the cover, obviously. And then um, this is what's in the magazine. So you can see that it's April 2021, so right now it is September, so I am pretty late, to be honest. Um, and then we have the cover again. So, okay, cool. This is Victon, and this is their cover story. And we have, see, this is what I mean by, like, very minimal makeup and not too much um, hair styling, not very complicated outfits, which is something that I really like, to be honest. Okay, so, um, if you can read Korean, feel free to pause or screenshot or whatever, but I'm just gonna go straight through. Ooh, nice. And then we have... Sung Shik, Sung Woo, and Byung Chan. Very cute. I mean, I do wish Sung Shik would have had um, black hair like the other members, but it's pretty interesting and I think he stands out, which is good. Ooh, nice. I like this photo a lot. Oh, this is interesting. Um, interesting how Byung Chan has like kind of longish hair at the back. Um, not my favourite style of hair on guys in general, but he looks pretty good. Then we have Hanse. This is when Hanse had that really short hair. I remember he kept posting it on his Instagram, which I thought was very, um, kind of very alternative. But he looks like a true rapper. Then we have Sejin. Very, very cute. Oh my gosh, Subin is so cute. Again, feel free to screenshot whatever, um, whenever there's like a page of text. <laughs> Subin is so cute. This scarf looks a bit like his sweater from Nostalgia, if you guys remember. The blue and yellow one. Then we have Chan. Very cool. Um, is he sitting on a stool? Or is he leaning on a stool? <laughs> Interesting. And then we have Sungwoo with his long legs. I miss Sungwoo a lot because he's in the military now. So I guess it's nice that I have um, something that's new to me to look at for Sungwoo. Then we have, okay, we have another Sejun. He looks a bit like an office worker here. But um, imagine, if, imagine if you had Sejun as your colleague. Ooh, awesome. Okay, and then we have Byung Chan here, Sun Shik here. Um, interesting angle for the photo. 
I've actually been thinking recently whether my bias is Sungshik or Sejin because I've been really liking Sejin um, for the past couple of months. So Chan again. Oh, I like his shoes. Snake skin or maybe fake snake skin shoes. Faux snake skin shoes. Then we have Hanse. Nice, nice, nice. And Sabin, this is like a continuation of his cute little pose again. Um, okay, now that I see the scarf like this, it doesn't look like his sweater from Nostalgia, but anyway. So that's really cute. And oh my gosh, <laughs> Sungwoo. Oh, we miss you. We miss you a lot. Oh, and his shirt, actually, um, interesting fact. Um, when Jun and Minghao from Seventeen went to the airport a couple of days ago, um, Jun was wearing a very similar design of Valentino shirt. I'm pretty sure it's from the same collection because it looks exactly the same. Um, but obviously Sungwoo is wearing a t-shirt version and Jun was wearing a button-down collar t-shirt version. Um, I think that might be it for the Victon part. I'll just flip through quickly. I think this is kind of just like a lifestyle magazine, stationary um, hobbies kind of magazine. I'll be flipping through quickly, but feel free to slow down if you want. Oh, Seoul. That's interesting. I do like the texture of these pages quite a lot. Feels um feels almost like a book, not a magazine. We are nearly at the end. Um and then that looks like a subway map. Reminds me of this um, diary that I bought from Japan two years ago. It also had a subway map of Tokyo at the back, which was really useful. So yeah, that was the magazine in its entirety. So yeah, that was my unboxing of Victon's Big Issue magazine. Sorry for the lateness in unboxing this, but I am very glad to have it anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!